Welcome to this pastel demonstration of a pelican on the seashore. I really love drawing and painting wildlife, so I hope you enjoy this time-lapse video. I have my image transferred to my surface using UART sanded paper. I begin by blocking in colors used in the sky and applying darker blues to block in some wave areas. This is done very loosely to get some color on the paper that will be blended with alcohol and a brush. I'm ready to begin the alcohol wash. I'm using a 90% alcohol because it dries much faster than using water. However, using water is fine. Just make sure that the paper you are using accepts a wet wash. Starting with an underpainting gives you some rich colors that will show through your painting without the colors mixing and getting muddy. I use an underpainting with most of my seascape paintings, but not necessarily with uh, wildlife and other subjects. Now that the alcohol wash is dry, I've added some light blue and light purple to the sky. The colors blend very smoothly over an underpainting and is not so abrasive to your fingers on sanded paper. I'm starting to build layers of color to the water. I loosely block in darker areas and blend lightly. My photo reference you can see on my tablet has a blurry background, but I don't plan to create the same effect as the photo. I want to create some wave action in the surf behind my pelican, so I will gradually shape some small waves and surf movement. Now, some artists work from top to bottom on their artwork, but I don't always do that. I like to block in areas and add some details and then move on to another area for a while. I guess it's easier for me to make changes and add the details when I can see the whole picture. Everyone has their own preference and do what works best for you. Now that I have shaped a few waves in the background, I will begin working on the pelican's head. I applied some cream color pastel to the head and neck of the pelican and blended some light violet into the neckline to give it some shading. I'll use my brown pastel color pencil to outline his beak and gradually darken and shade it in.
I follow the reference photo as closely as I can to bring out its details and highlights in his beak. I will use some dark blue to add some shading to his neckline and then I'll start adding the texture of feathers um, on his head and neck area. I'm applying some yellow and white to the right side of the pelican's neck where the sun is casting light. I'm going to use some alcohol to this area of feathers so once it's dry I can draw some white outlines of the feathers very easily. For the next few minutes, I will be developing his feathers, so I hope you follow along. Feathers of the pelican have been 
shaped, I'm moving on to drawing in the feet. I'll add in some of the blue water that is underneath the feathers and gradually shape and shade his feet. At this point, I will start with the rock formation. The light source is coming from the side, so the rocks will have some light reflections on that side. I'm going to add some waves to the forefront of the rock with a few splashes of water on the rock and some uh, water that flows in little patterns off of the rock. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration, and if you liked it, please press like and subscribe to my channel to get more tutorials and tips in pastel.